could be live any second now. Literally any second. Uh, uh, are we live? It says we're live. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so we are live now, and uh, I need to tweet that I'm live. I need to do all these things. I need to do all of these things. And let me see. Just give me a second, guys. Let me give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. Fuck. Oh, uh, man. All right. Uh, go to Twitter. Go to Twitter right there. And uh, I got to go to my channel now and do all this other stuff. Very early. Yes, you are. All of you guys are early. Uh, copy link address. Where are you? There it is. I'm such a boomer. Live talking about stuff. Um, I guess hashtags. Should we do hashtags? Are we one of those kind of people now? Uh, DBS. Uh, Dragon. I'm a super, super hero. Live talking about stuff. Yo, no, like, what's up? Uh, do, 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 do. What's up, everybody? What's going on? Can you guys hear me? Do I sound okay? Are we good? Are we, like, super good right now? Uh, just give me a second, everybody. I'm just, uh, you know, doing the usual. Doing the usual. Super duper gohan time this. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, Twitter's done. Twitter. I should probably post it on Gator, too, huh? Twitter and Gator. Twitter and Gator. Twitter and Gator. How big is it? What? I liked, bro. Don't ban me. What do you mean? What's 17 people and not 34 likes? I'm gonna start banning. Oh, 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 I gotcha. Bro, facts. Gamma 1 versus Jiren. Uh... I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yes, the mods will ban. The mods will, in fact, ban. We have 17 pe 16 people here. We only have 11 likes. We should have 32. We should have 32 likes. Um, so, truth be told, I actually forgot that I have a channel, apparently. As you can see, I haven't been uploading. Actually, no, I'm lying. I uploaded two days ago. I uploaded twice, like, two days ago. Uh, three days ago. Five days ago. I, 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 no, I never... What am I talking about? I'm just, uh... I've been uploading. I've been uploading. I have been uploading. It felt much longer, though. It's felt a lot longer. And, uh, you know, um, I've been playing Gwent, like, nonstop. Do you guys know this? Do you guys know what Gwent is? Please tell me you guys know what Gwent is. If you guys don't know, if you guys do know what Gwent, what Gwent is, um, I need you to confirm for me in chat. Because that's what I've been, I've been playing that nonstop. For the last few days, like the last four days. And uh, the Witcher card game, yes. Imagine if they did an anime retelling of the Broly movie. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be fine with that. No idea what it is. The Witcher. Yes, it's The Witcher. It's from The Witcher. It's a card game based on The Witcher. So Gwent actually exists in The Witcher 3. But there's also a separate card game that apparently is super competitive. Uh, called Gwent as well. And I've been playing that shit nonstop. <laughs> would highly recommend it if you guys are into like, you know, um, if you guys are too chatty for Magic the Gathering and shit, but you also like card games and shit like that. But anyway, anyway, uh, today we have an hour long podcast video uh, by Unreal Network, uh, not to be not to be confused for Unreal End Gaming. Uh, it's Unreal Network, and uh, <laughs> um, apparently I've been told by Unreal Network, that he talks a lot of shit in this video. So I figured, uh, let's go over it. You know what I'm saying? And as per usual, as per usual, we will be, we will be, uh, fuck. Rainbow maybe forget what I was going to say because I was reading his comment. Um, oh yeah, we will be giving people about 10 to 15 minutes-ish to join the stream before we, uh, you know, before we start talking our own shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, do you think the Saiyans will do anything to Blue Evolution, Vegeta, and Kakume? Uh, no, I don't think so. Though, the three Saiyans that Vegeta runs into, the, the three generals, whatever they are, 
Oh, was it three or four? I forgot. Um, they seem to know what Super Saiyan is, so that's something worth noting. Real shit though, Amish. How's your day been? My day has been okay. How are you? Are you still dying? Good game, even though I don't like card, game, but card games, but when I first played it, I played for hours straight. That's how good it is. Yeah, it's super fun. It's super fun. The Eno Shika Cho are dead. Yeah. <laughs> Getting you to read it is my New Year's, re New Year's revolution or New Year's resolution. Which one is it? Getting better now? Glad to hear it. Dragon Ball sucks the sweaty taint of a French hooker after she works a double. Damn. To be honest, the two android heroes in Dragon and Superhero will be easily forgettable in my opinion. Yeah, probably. Though I am prepared. I am prepared. Uh, to have a bunch of purists defend the fuck out of that movie, though. I'm, I'm prepared for that. Um, so, you know. Alex is a giga chad throughout the whole video. Good to hear it. Emish, what's good? What's up, Mr. Mike McMillan? Uh, they've been seen... They may be seen Khalifa use Super Saiyan. I hope they can't even touch Vegeta. He needs to make a statement. Does he really need to make a statement? I guess, you know, for the sake of the war arc. But you kind of want to represent... Like, you want to make Universe 6 look good, too. You know what I'm saying? You know, because we haven't got we haven't got like a legit chapter where Vegeta's fighting somebody yet. He just beats up and bullies Khalifa. So is that really like you know what I mean? Uh, they probably gives a manga page for the movie. <laughs> I would love to see Dragon explore the other universe. They create twelve other universes and how did nothing with yet? Yeah, that's true. Only fan mangas are doing stuff with the other universes. Say, Cerise, what's up? Uh, I'm sorry, I do, not li I do not like anything about the new movie. Maybe that Gohan has more focus, but besides that, I don't know. You don't have to apologize to me. I've been screaming about this shit for, like, fucking past, like, maybe, what, half a year? Or some shit? You want the Saiyans to be able to somewhat fight Vegeta, not just be fodder? Yeah, I mean, he's going straight to blue, and if they put up a fight against him, then, you know, uh... It's going to be interesting. I, I I think it would be a good representation for Universe 6 because if you guys don't like Kale and Khalifa being the representatives of Universe 6, then the next best bet for that fan manga would be those three Saiyan uh, generals. Heroes better than the movie or too far? Um, I, I, No, I think you're going a little too far. Even I can't say that shit. Chop, 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 chop. Burr, 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 burr. Hi, Amish. What's up? Chop, 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 chop. I usually enjoy DBS, but the movie was disappointing. What movie? Did you see it already? D Divine Justice Saw Superhero? Did you see? Yo, let us know. How was it? <laughs> How was it? I honestly want to see more Gogeta. More in the anime. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I So do I. If they do... <laughs> if they do the... Uh, if they retell the Broly arc, you know, including the cutout content, um, then I imagine, yeah, we'll see a lot more Gogeta. Lol, DBH power levels makes no sense. I mean, Dragon Ball Z's power power scaling is kind of off the charts, too. Uh, and yes, I said that correct. I said Z, not Super. Um, the Black Arc in Super is like, my god. And then Z, it's just all over the place. The Cell Arc and Boo Arc is just all over the place. Kenneth Davis. Looking back at Super, the anime, there were a lot of shit being mishandled. I get the fan service, but... Part, but if it was executed properly, the Potara was mishandled. Trunks was mishandled the most. Uh, I don't know if the, no, I don't know if the Potara was mishandled because the, the Potara stuff, I, I mean, I, I assume you're talking about like the, it only works for the Kaioshin. What it does is it answers something that was never answered in Z. Cause in Z, all people thought was that, uh, it was Boo's body that caused them to defuse. Even the, even the Daizenshu suggests this. It actually says that verbatim, that the air in, in Boo's body caused them to defuse the minute they put their shield down. And that just doesn't make sense because then uh, Potara, that's supposed to be more uh, potent than Metamore Infusion, ends up uh, defusing in Boo's body to whereas Gotenks is actually to withstand Boo's body. I.e., hence we get, Boo uh, we get we literally get Boo Tanks, right? So that just doesn't make sense for Z, at least. So at least, uh, you know, at least for the sake of, like, consistency and answering unanswered questions, them having to be put, you know, uh, one person having to be a Kaioshin or something like that makes sense. Emish, have you reviewed Dragon Ball Deliverance? What the fuck is that? Emish, would you rather see fusions more or a proper showing of MUN Ultra Ego? I'd rather see fusions more. Maybe I'll do a video discussion talking about this one day. But the reason I say that is because, you know, fusions, I think the fandom collectively agrees to some extent that fusions are either nearing the tier of MUI or surpassing it, if not being equal to it, right? What are those three scenarios? And it doesn't matter which scenario you think fusion is, 
The point is that Fusion actually takes that level of power and portrays it well, uh, to whereas MUI and just Ultra Ego just looks like terrible every time we see it. So, you know, it is what it is. I hope I'm not too late. You are not too late because uh, we just started streaming 10 minutes ago, and you, you guys know we usually give people 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes 20, uh, you know, for people to join up before we start going into our scheduled programming. I'd rather review. I'd rather review my stool after I eat Chipotle than Dragon Ball Deliverance. Um, I hate Chipotle, and I agree with Chris Pitt because well, I don't know about Dragon Ball Deliverance, but I agree with him because I agree with the anal the analogy because I had Chipotle one time and I fucking never. Uh, my stomach was just all over the fucking place. Just give us Super Saiyan Four. I think Broly's our best bet for that. Broly is the closest thing to it. Fuck MUI and Ego. Honest, dude, uh, no luck. Broly is the closest thing to Super Saiyan 4 and DBS. You definitely, my favorite Dragon Ball YouTuber. Appreciate it. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, did you like Dragon Ball Absalon? I have no idea what that is. The movie looks like my PS2 video game. <laughs> oh, man. So just, dis uh, man. I, I don't think it looks that bad. I don't, I don't, I don't think it looks that bad. Um, so we're about to go into this video shortly, and I just want to let you guys know. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking about how I want to handle this. I don't, cause here's the thing. Um, I don't know if you guys are into merch or anything, right? So, for me, um, my boy Unreal hooked me up. With uh, with Chad Emish, okay. So I got Chad Emish here. You guys see that? You said you guys see Chad Emish, Chad Mosh. You guys see that, right? So we got Chad Emish, right? And uh, I was thinking, the idea behind this is to make merch, okay. But the thing is, I don't know too many people that would wear a shirt with some random dude with a beard, uh, with a shirtless beard, jacked up Chad dude. Um, I don't know people that wear stuff like that personally. Okay. So here's the thing. I had some ideas to make more like serious tone merch, merches, like merchandise, but I also had another idea as well to kind of made some, to, to kind of make something that's a little more easy going and just funny. So I, I, what I was thinking is, um, looks like the guy from How to Train Your Dragon. Well, that's what I look like, bro. Uh, we have this one too, where he's like, we have an aura, and like he has the Pride Trooper outfit, and it's like tearing because he's too jacked up and stuff. Um, then we have shirtless aura. Uh, <laughs> Chad, I miss the Moses, right? Right. right. <laughs> then we have like teared Pride Trooper outfit aura. Um, so now here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, um, on the topic of like, <laughs> on the topic of this, so I had an idea uh, for for like a hoodie, a shirt, maybe like I don't even know yet. I might even I might even do my merch on stream with you guys. Not this stream, I don't know. Maybe if I get hyped and you know we get enough people in here, then maybe I could start making some stuff like you know preparing some stuff on on stream. If it's not on this stream, then maybe another one. But I had a couple of ideas. Okay. Um, so I don't know too many people that would wear this, like a random jacked bearded shirtless dude. Uh, so I figured that I would use this in place of like the typical yes, Chad meme, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with that. So what I was going to do was, you know, I was going to use this character, which is basically me in place of like the yes meme. Um, so that way it kind of compensates for you just wearing some random shirtless fucking bearded dude and looking weird when you go outside. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it kind of kills two birds with one stone. Um, I think I would prefer a full body image to be honest. Um, I mean, isn't this full body? Uh, but like I was saying, so I had an idea of like maybe making something like, um, cause if I, if I go to pictures here real quick, I go into my lol folder. Uh, you see stuff like this guy. Hold on. Uh, where is it? Um, so there's this guy. There's Zamasu Pepe, right? Zamasu Pepe. 
I was gonna put something like that there. If not that, maybe just like some, you know, some basic like Wojak fucking crying soy fucking dude. Uh, you know, basically saying something like this. Um, so you just, <laughs> so you just eat, sleep, lift heavy, and watch Dragon Ball all day, and then like, you know, next to it would be my character saying uh, either yes or it's a peaceful life. Like on the text on the top would say it's a peaceful life, and he's just sitting there all jacked and all this other shit. Um, I saw a meme that I made in your folder for real. Which one? Uh, <laughs> um, so there's that. Like that's one of my ideas. And I, because the, the thing is about like I, I wanted to combine, you know, the whole Chad meme into something that people were. I, I would find I, I find myself wearing stuff like that. You know, um, I would wear stuff like that. Uh, and I had another idea. It was kind of like a a play on pronouns. So you know how pronouns tend to be like you know he him, uh, she her, they them, or some sh weird shit like that. I was gonna make another shirt again with this character, but his pronouns are strong and strongest. <laughs> so I I I figured you guys would like stuff like that. Um, I don't think all of you will like it, but I know a lot of you guys who kind of follow my kind of style of content would probably appreciate like that, that kind of shirt or that kind of merchandise. Hopefully Teespring doesn't like ban me or some shit for do it for making a shirt, you know? Uh, but I would like to make a pronoun shirt and the pronouns would be strong and strongest. Like <laughs> maybe like a tank top or something for like people can like work out in or something like that. Um, so that'd be kind of, you know, I had an idea with that as well. I had a couple, of, I had another idea too for like a, for like a shirt or like just typical, mer it's like triple B's uh, beard bags and bitches. I was going to get something like that made eventually. Um, so beard, obviously, for people who have beards, right? If you don't have a beard, then you're fucked. I don't know. You're fucked, dude. Uh, the bags would obviously be like, you know, money bags, whether you're making, you know, whether you're investing via stocks or cryptocurrency or something like that. And then the other B would just be bitches. You guys know the drill. Uh, so beard bags and bitches. That's another idea I had. So I have a couple ideas that I want to work on. And, uh, you know, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys like that. Um, so that's kind of like a sneak peek on things that I have uh, in line that I want to work on. Um, so I figured I figured a lot of you guys would like stuff like that. So um, yeah, the beard bags and bitches shirt. I, I'm when I get that done, I might make that like kind of uh, not with just without that character, so that way more other people can wear it like miscellaneous. Like it, it's more like a miscellaneous shirt. Um, but then the other two, as far as like the pronouns one. And the one with like, uh, you know, so you just like eat, sleep, lift heavy and watch Dragon Ball all day. And then he's just like, yes, or he's like, it's a peaceful life or something like that. That would be something more catered to you guys. Um, I also had like a, <laughs> I also want to make like an agnostic kind of shirt. Um, I'm not agnostic, but I know a few people are. And I and I feel like people, some people could appreciate the, uh, the, uh, the joke, which would be like, you know, crying Zamasu. So like it would be like crying Zamasu like this one or another sh or something like that like maybe something like this right, um, and he's just like he he's just saying you know you're just a mortal or some you know you're just a mortal or something like that, and then you know uh, the other guy's just saying you know I'm agnostic <laughs> or something like that so you just don't believe in gods and all this other shit so I don't know this is I'm just spitballing some ideas don't fucking steal them don't fucking steal my ideas you bitches. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys kind of like, you know, uh, a, the gist of what I was thinking. Um, yeah, so make that the new NPC meme. I wanted to make like a... I wanted to get... <laughs> I can't... No, no, chill, Chris. <laughs> um, I wanted to make a... <laughs> I'll leave it. I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. I'll leave it at that for now. I'll leave it at that for now. Um, but anyway, are you guys ready? Are we ready to start this fucking video? We have 63 viewers and only 35 likes. We should have 126 likes. Chad Emish is the average Kakume enjoyer. Yeah, f facts, man. Facts. I would like to get a Kakume shirt. Um, I'd like to get a Kakume shirt made. <laughs> I don't know how they would feel about that. I'm not sure they would like that. But just something for me, you know, like... uh. You know, maybe for like a few other people. Maybe like, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. Hey, Amish, what do you think about the Dragon Ball fan games that are out there like Earth Special Forces, Zek 2, and Hyper Dragon Ball Z? I am not aware of any of them. Not aware of any of them. Um, so that sucks. 
<laughs> yeah, let's get those likes up, and uh, I'm actually going to grab a drink real quick, and then we can get started. Okay? I'll be right back. Just give me one second. So I'm not late. No, I never said you were late. We're ready. Let's do it. Yeah, right there. Right fucking there. This proves MS likes men. I... <laughs> All right, whatever. Yeah, I guess I like men. I guess I like men. All right. Uh, I might have to lower his video down a little bit just because I know Unreal's videos to be super loud. So, Emish, no blemish? Yeah, I guess not. I guess not. Uh, let me... Okay, cool. I have... Okay, I do have to... Do not disturb mode on. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to get started. Hope you have a good new year. Um... Could always be better, you know. I lost a debate. I'm ashamed of myself. Don't be. Just get better, bro. Uh, Woden's Throne with the five dollar donor says, "Did you happen to check out the video about Goku being dumb and a jobber?" I have not. I have not. Uh, being dumb and a jobber. I'm not sure. I don't think I, I have seen that video. Let me see something real quick. Let me go to Streamlabs. Because I want to see if that... Because I ain't getting... Oh, there it is. Subarashina. Okay, so that that that's a long delay before... Uh... I gotta fix that. Let me fix that real quick. Appreciate you, uh... Wooden's, wooden something thrown. What's his fucking name? Jesus Christ. Uh... <laughs> Alert box. Alert delay is three seconds. That's that was not three seconds. That was not no fucking three seconds, bro. I'll put it to two now. Hopefully that works. Uh, let's test the donation. Cool. All right, cool. All right, cool, 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 cool. So it's working. It is working. Amish, can you interview me because I was born a real Saiyan? Uh, <laughs> was that debate about what purse you were going to wear tonight? <laughs> uh, yo, uh, Woden's Throne, I'm not aware of the video. Um, maybe shoot it to me on Twitter or something like that. Um, do, do you guys have Getter? Do you guys, did you guys hear about Getter? I should probably post my fucking Getter. Oh, that's not it. The fuck? Hold on. Getter. There it is. I'm gonna post my getter in chat. I need some followers, bro. Look, I only I only follow like three people, and I only have one fucking thing to look at. You know? Oh shit! Bones with the five dollar dono again. Appreciate you. Uh, look up the YouTube channel Jobber and Goons. You'll see it. Well, before I do that, is it response worthy? These are the questions. Am I late? You are not late. You're just in time, actually. Uh, Twitter. I follow you on there. Yeah, I know you follow me already. It's got a gator going. Gator. Fucking gator. Getting too old for this shit. Fiery but mostly peaceful. Uh, I like crypto and not a real Dragon Ball fan. Uh, that is my my gator. All right, so go check me out over there. You guys should definitely make one. It's basically anti Twitter. So all the shit that you see happening on Twitter, you don't you don't really have to deal with that on uh, on Gator. And to, to, to my understanding, Getter doesn't allow child porn the way Twitter does. So just, uh, you know, just food for thought. If you guys are, you know, <laughs> that channel hilarious. Let me look it up, actually, before we jump. Let me, I'm going to have it on screen. I mean, I'm going to pull up on my tab, actually. Jobber and what? Jobber and Goober? What was it? Uh, What was it? Hold on. Oh, Jobber and Goons. I thought it was Goober. Why did I say Goober? Jobber and Goons. Uh, Goku being low IQ for 13 plus minutes. Okay. Um, oh, no, they have clips on their shit. I'm about to get my shit copyright claim, bro. 
Twitter is a cesspool of soy woke pussies and Al Qaeda murder porn. Dude, oh my god, I just I I need to not read anything Chris Pitt says because my shit gets fucking uh, demonetized instantly. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to jump into the problems and the future of Dragon Ball Super, the Unreal Experience Episode Seven. Make sure you guys go check it out if you guys are uh, you know into that kind of shit. You know, go check uh, Unreal out. That's his other channel. If you're subscribed to Unreal End Gaming, it doesn't matter. He has 18 other channels. So you have to support him on all 18. Um, so go check that out. I'll leave a link to that. I posted the link in chat already. And, uh, you know, we're about to uh, jump into this right there. Let me like this video. Okay, play. Da 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 Ba, ba, ba. And here we go. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Unreal. Play that shit back again. Da, 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 da. Ba, 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 ba. And here we go. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Unreal Experience Podcast. I am your host, Alex. Everyone in chat has to type in ba, 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 ba. You guys are doing it wrong. We're not going to continue with this video until everyone in chat just goes ba, ba, ba. Come on. Let's do it. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. And here ba, ba, we go. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Unreal Experience Podcast. I am your host, Alex, also known as Unreal and Gaming. And today, we have a lot to talk about when it comes... Can you can you guys hear me versus the stream is like is it even I'm I'm always going to be louder. I'm I'm obviously always going to be louder because you know people I need to, I need people to hear me more. <laughs> Baba identifies black sheep. Uh <laughs> Yes, you good. Right. Comes down to Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super, and, ba, 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 and that's the return that will be of the Dragon Ball Super ba, ba, anime, ba, 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 and why I think it shouldn't come back ba, 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 anytime soon. Now, I want to go on ahead and put out a disclaimer to say that I love Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball so much that I consider, to me, right, in my own opinion, for Dragon Ball to be the greatest shonen anime ever in history. Right now, I know. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys consider Dragon Ball to be the greatest sh shonen? something in history or ever and that's more of a personal bias right like you know there's nothing wrong with that um it has its flaws it has its obvious flaws blah, blah, blah. it has its obvious flaws but uh you know i think a lot of people kind of have a mostly a love relationship with like dragon ball and z it's the most iconic one okay i agree with that i think it is it's probably one of the most iconic if not the most iconic next to like one piece and stuff like that right it influenced most of the greatest show. That's true. I think it is the manga. And okay. Okay, cool. Just wanted to ask you guys that. No. Because feel free to put your thoughts like in the chat as he's talking. Like, don't wait for me to ask you a question. You know what I'm saying? Um, Even if I missed a question, like, or if I missed a comment, it's then it's fine. But at least for the sake of like you guys discussing things with one another, uh, let's just pretend we're all in the VC together. You know what I'm saying? So by all means, share your thoughts. Some of you guys might comment and be like, well, okay, but to me, the greatest anime series of all time is Yu Yu Hakusho, it's Bleach, it's Naruto, it's My Hero Academia, it's Attack on Titan, that's fine. And I respect one's opinion to suggest like, yeah, this anime has a better written story, this anime has a more fleshed out universe like One Piece and stuff, that's okay. But to me, in my own opinion, growing up after... Element Star says, I can't stand One Piece due to its art, man, boy. The, yeah, I can't stand. That's why I don't watch it. The character just make me angry. Watching many anime shows in my life, I love and I gravitate towards Dragon Ball more than any other. Now, as many of you guys may already know by now, I'm a Dragon Ball creator and I love telling stories. I love reviewing Dragon Ball. I just fucking love it. But what I don't love is the lack of effort that this multi-billion dollar company known as Toei Animation tends to create and go forward with giving us a lackluster product. Now, I really encourage for you guys to watch through this entire podcast because I'm going to say things that will A, shock you, B, stir up a lot of controversy, and C, open your eyes to the truth, which the truth... The truth! <laughs> ...will set you free. Now, it's not to suggest... 
that I don't want to ever see the Dragon Ball Super oh, anime man. come back. I Alex, do bro. want to see the Dragon Ball Super <laughs> anime come back one day. I don't want it to be, though, anytime soon. Why? Because I don't want to see Dragon Ball Super return by either recreating and telling the story of Broly, adapting that through the form of an arc. I don't want to see the Moro arc. <laughs> the I truth don't want to see the, frog, the Granola yeah. arc. I don't want to see anything else that comes after with a lackluster-like quality, with a lackluster-like effort, and for them to go about this narrative in giving us what we saw from episodes 1 to 131 from the original Dragon Ball Super anime that aired from 2015 to 2018. Now, what am I trying to get at here? Well, when you look at other animes like One Piece, Digimon as an example, Digimon, I'm a huge fan of Digimon, right? And if you guys go back and watch the original Digimon series in the early 2000s, the animation, the art style, the quality, it was you know subpar to what it was you know dog shit but it was also like a, it was also aimed at kids and stuff like that which is you know i grew up on digimon too uh dude like we also had like the channel 11 i think it was the warner brothers fucking lineup you know what i'm saying like you had fucking pokemon Yu Gi Oh, you had all this shit lined up and i i grew up on digimon and digimon right now they have like another series where it's basically kind of like a retail if not like i don't know the exact specifics but I know it's the original cast for the most part, and that fucking anime looks amazing. It looks like an anime. It doesn't look. Like, it does not look like a kid show anymore. That shit is clean as shit. I'm telling you, it's fucking Digimon, and Digimon looks better than superhero. So I don't know, man. It's unfortunate. It was out during that time, and now when you watch Digimon Adventure 2020, and you look at the transformations from like the mega Digimon to the battles to the overall structural foundation of the anime itself. It looks like a movie quality esque anime from start to finish with each and every single episode, right? You watch other. Um, I think most of them are very consistent as far as animation and stuff like that. I don't know about each and every one, but most of them are very good. Anime is like attack on Titan. And it's consistent. I think the main point is that Digimon is consistent see the way Aaron the Titan is fighting and you see all of these developmental like circumstances in which visually you look at this show and you're like wow I am just blown away you look at One Piece same thing Toei Animation went on to make One Piece visually look stunning and even through its narrative perspective through its story everything fits the foundation yeah, it's crazy because One Piece characters look like actual shit, but the anime doesn't look bad, if that makes sense. Like, do you guys understand what I'm saying by that? Like, the characters look terrible, right? They're actual degenerates, right? But everything else about it isn't bad. I've seen some, you know, people have put me onto some fights and stuff like that. It's It doesn't look bad. I just can't put, get myself into it because, one, it's like a thousand episodes or some fucking crazy shit like that. And two, uh, I just don't like the characters. I just can't, I can't, I just cannot get myself invested in them. So of what one piece is you look at bleach coming back through the form of its anime by telling the thousand year blood war arc right you can only imagine the amount of effort they're going to be putting in into making bleach look like an absolute monster for dragon ball super i definitely believe that if toy animation if the suit in charge really wanted to dragon ball super could look so much better could feel so much better there is no fucking excuse in the world why a multi-billion dollar company can't put all of their eggs in making the anime itself visually look the way it should through the form of giving that to its consumer for us to consume and spend money on for them to make money now what am i getting at here so the, yeah, so, like, the problem with that is that, like, look at these fans. Like, we know what the fans look like, right? Well, this is what fans look like. So, this is what fans look like. I'm trying to put it... So, I don't want to block out his Unreal... I don't want to block it. Okay. This is what fans look like. This is a Dragon Ball fan right here. Okay? Now, a Dragon Ball fan... Let me minimize this. Hold on. Oh, ever since the... Let me pause this. I'm, I'm going to put... I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put this Dragon Ball fan in its natural habitat right here, okay? Twitter. This is a Dragon Ball fan in its nat natural habitat. Twitter, and if it's not Twitter, it's here, Kanzenshu. This is also, well, not Kanzenshu the website, but it's most more so the message board. It's more so the forums, uh, media, no general info. Was it media? No. Was it interaction? Yeah. Here it is. 
Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, I follow the rules. No, I don't. Uh, this is a Dragon Ball fan. It's natural habitat. <laughs> and, I mean, these are the consumers. All they do is consume. <laughs> and they spell... Cons these are consumers. Like this. You spell it like that. Consumers. <laughs> We're consumers. They're consumers. There's a big difference. So this is a Dragon Ball fan in his natural habitat. So this is what we're dealing with. And, you know, it's just the unfortunate fucking truth. I mean, that's why Toei does that shit. That's why they do this dumb shit. They literally just gave you Broly and thought that was it wasn't good enough. What you guys actually want is CGI. That's what you guys really want. You consumers, real. this is what you really want. Because you know why? These guys, the consumers... All the these guys right here, these guys right here, the consumers, they hated but they hated Broly because he was just too jacked. He had too many muscles. He screams too much. There was too much fighting. Gogeta was too much of a Chad. There was too much big dick energy in Dragon Ball Super Broly. So the consumers didn't like that. So they got mad. They got mad, and Toei said, "Holy shit, we, oh, okay, I think, oh, go menasai, go menasai." And we are sorry. We are we are <laughs> we are in big awe of your American big penis. Uh, <laughs> so you know, and, and and they just put out. They just gave them CGI. Put Gohan on the front cover with fucking Pan, and the consumers love it. Consumers love Pan. For what reason? I don't know. Chris Pitt with the five dollar dono. Should I wait for the fucking alert? Jesus Christ. Riley Reed puts more effort into her acting than Toriyama has into all of Super. I don't know who that is. There you go. Subarashina. There we go. I don't know who that is, but puts more effort into her acting than... Is she an actor? <laughs> Bro, chill. Are you going to get me... I don't want to look it up and then it's cr something crazy, okay? I that's a Oh, it's a porn star. Okay, well, that explains... Bro, I was about to look it up. You are fucked, bro. This stream would have gotten destroyed had I looked it up. And all I see is a bunch of dicks just plowing through some random chick. Dude, that would have been terrible. That would not have been good. Anyway, let's get back to the podcast. Conclusion of the Dragon Ball Super anime with episode 131 in March of 2018. So many people have been clamoring for... Wasn't the T.O.P. basically Jiren chatting through the T.O.P.? Yeah, they, that's, they hate Jiren. They, consumers hate Jiren because he's too much of a chat. For an anime. Now, I'm not desperate for the anime to come back. I'm a very creative motherfucker. Trust me when I say I could do without the Dragon Ball Super anime. I'm not clinging on as a reviewer or as a content creator desperately trying to wait for the anime to come back because that's the only thing that's going to make up my channel and I need it for the views. I don't need that shit. I'm not that desperate to just cry about it and say, boohoo, I want the anime to come back because I need views. That's not me. I want the anime to come back at its absolute peak when it comes down to quality not because i can get some isaac bell says i thought everyone hated pen no consumers love pen the consumers love pen they might not like gt pen but they like they like the main timeline main storyline pen canon pen that's that that's the pen that they like some views out of it fuck that shit after watching dragon ball super broly i swear to god i said to myself can you imagine what Dragon Ball Super, the anime, could have been like if it followed a formula like that? And I'm Bro, what I said was, and I literally said this to me and Alex have talked about this so many times. We we literally saw the Broly movie and we were like, bro, uh, I can't wait for the anime to come back now because that's what it's going to look like. Like naturally, you you know naturally your reaction to seeing Dragon Ball Super Broly and seeing Toei and everybody go so like fucking balls to the wall to make this movie look good. You have to ask yourself, well, it only makes sense that they stop the anime to put out this fucking masterpiece, you know, to put out this amazing movie because the when if and when the anime comes back, it we have expectations now. We, there's there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You know what I'm saying? We can see the light. Our expectations are high. Dragon Ball is back. Literally when Broly came out, I most of the people I know 
and most of the people I've interacted with, with the exception of consumers, because the only time I interact with a consumer is when I'm like monetizing, you know, them reeing at me in my comment section or something like that. But that aside, literally everybody I know, we were like, bro, Dragon Ball's back. When Broly movie came out, Dragon Ball was back. Dragon Ball was fucking back. And then we see Gohan and fucking Pan, and it's just like, uh, and then Gamma 1 and 2. And it, you know, and Gohan himself isn't even the problem. It's just more so his portrayal. Um, I guess Pan is kind of an issue, uh, just because, like, she's relevant somehow. Uh, and then it's just Gamma 1 and 2, and then if it's not them, it's the CGI, and it's just like, wait, what happened? Like, why, why couldn't we just continue with, uh, you know, the good movie stuff? <laughs> You know, so, ah, uh, man, whatever. I'm also going to explain why I am not excited for Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Because for someone like Vic... Movies always look better than the anime. No way can TV have the same quality on a weekly basis. Have you seen Jujutsu Kaisen? Have you seen Demon Slayer? Uh, Attack on Titan Season 1? Literally Fate Stay Night? Fate Unlimited Blade Works? Mostly any Fate. Mostly. Most of them. There's tons of anime. Berserk, yeah. There's tons of anime that are fucking flames consistently. That is not a good take at all. Come on, JT. Sunset, what's up? Victory Uchida to promise everybody back in 2019 and talk about very vaguely about this new movie and this project and they're going to... Kill the Kill was good, but I don't know if it's... I don't recall it being on the level of like... The animes I mentioned, just because Kill the Kill is just mostly sixteen-year-old anime titties and stuff like that. That's pretty much what. That's pretty much what that was. Um, but yeah, sure, we'll get add Kill the Kill to the list. Why not? To make this upcoming movie bigger, better, more intense. See facts. There are cartoons as well that look like movie level. Bro, Digimon, Digimon Adventures right now is fucking fire. If Digimon looks better than Dragon Ball Super. Well, imagine that. They're gonna put the consumers love it. Consumers love this. Pour in more money into making the film that follows Broly even better. And then here we are, and that shit looks like a fucking video game, which we, the consumers, do not deserve. We don't deserve that. Why? Because we deserve- You're right. We don't deserve it. The consumers will tell consumers that they don't deserve Dragon Ball, period, because they're not real fans if they don't blindly support the shit. You're absolutely right, Alex. I know that- Because that's not what he's saying. I'm just flipping it, right? Uh, consumers, these guys- Hold on, I gotta pull them back up. These guys, consumers, these guys will tell us that that same shit. You don't deserve it. You don't deserve that. You don't. Do, you're not a real fan. Look at them. I just want to. They had a. I, you know. They they all look like this. Most of them look like this, man. It's, that's. <laughs> it's so funny, man. Oh man. Wow, that's have nothing to say in Speechless. I don't know what you're saying, Vanessa Colin. I'm not sure what you're saying. Wow, that's have nothing to... I don't know what, I don't know what that means. I'm not sure what you're trying to say, Vanessa. Um, please, re maybe restructure your sentence, please. Serve better. And I don't think anybody could ever argue with me in the comment section to suggest that we don't deserve better exactly, when it Tristan, comes down exactly. to quality, right? And that's my main point here. I don't want Dragon Ball Super's anime to come back with piss poor quality with piss poor filters no as a matter of fact i'll just sit here and say dragon ball super broly spoiled the shit out of me because through its visual representation and yeah it spoiled everybody except for the consumers the only people who weren't spoiled by it were consumers every punch every kick every intense power up hell even all of the subtle moments. Speaking of Master, I have to review his Demon Rush manga. Right? With Broly fucking drinking water and eating chocolate, everything felt so smooth. Everything felt so fluid, right? And I don't want any of these, you know, crybabies in any... Yeah, York New, you're... I, uh, I agree with that. I... Excuse me, holy crap. With what uh, York New just said. Uh, oh, I was trying to say about the Broly movie, Dragon Ball Super. Uh... Are you saying, I mean, so Vanessa, if I understand you correctly, are, do we agree that Dragon Ball Super Broly was amazing? Any of these apologists. Good evening, Bill Boskanovich. Like, well, unreal, it's a movie. And because um they hired a freelancer, to, shut the fuck up. You're one of the problems in this goddamn community is standing up and. You got auto unsubscribed for some reason? 
Oh man, Toei's coming for me. Actually going along with what you consider to be good. Predictions for manga chapter 80? <laughs> Z's, Z, Z, snore, snore. Uh, but I also predict that the consumers will love chapter 80 when it comes out. When you know you could get better and I'm just gonna sit here and say this right This is a question that I pose to everybody listening which is in the Dragon Ball franchise between OG DB DBZ Dragon Ball GT all of that whatever the case may be What would you consider to be the greatest visual representation of Dragon Ball that you've ever seen in your life? I think in my own opinion and again, this is just me. It's not perfect, but it's close to perfect the greatest visual representation you know, in terms of its artistic style, in terms of its fluidity, everything. To me, Dragon Ball Z is the greatest visual representation of Dragon Ball ever, period, right? Now, it's not to suggest, oh my god, are you putting down OGDB? Ugh. No, I'm not saying that. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with that. But what I'm saying... I think Z was a good representation of it, yeah. thing is Dragon Ball Z, through its visual... Bro, listen, I like Dragon Ball, like, origin, like... The first Dragon Ball, but I'm not crazy about it. I don't know why people are. The, these are like the weirdos that are always like, you be the martial arts, you know, you know, the consumers, consumers, bro. These guys, bro. <laughs> Mostly them. I mean, I like Dragon Ball, but I'm not crazy about Dragon Ball. Like, Z was obviously my favorite. Um, but I don't know. It, it's just, I don't know representation through its artistic choices and style and animation it was the greatest right and next to that right next to it it's dragon ball super broly now here we are right many many decades later nah dragon ball is better better storytelling yeah and that's the difference ultimately is that dragon ball feels like more of a story and z feels like more kind of like action-packed if that makes sense uh they 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 change their style up they change everything up um, to kind of, you know, confront, you know, planetary, you know, universal threats-ish, roughly. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's kind of like the idea there. Like, that, not, it's not to suggest that planetary threats didn't exist in Dragon Ball. Like, you had Piccolo and stuff like that. But they did it in a way where, kind, like, you'd, you'd you, with, Dra with Dragon Ball, you have to be a lot more patient, which is weird. Because, you know, you would think that that kind of... That, that's kind of a prerequisite for Dragon Ball Z too. Um, but it really isn't. Uh, because in Dragon Ball Z, like, assuming that you started watching it when it was already completed for the most part, or close to it, you could just skip stuff that you didn't like. You know what I'm saying? Like, Z is very easy for you to skip stuff, and you don't really miss anything. Like, if you skip something from Z, it, it's not pivotal for the most part. Dragon Ball is not really like that. You kind of, you kind of want to watch it for just, like, for some fun adventure kind of thing. But there are so many other options available for that specific genre of anime or manga. And I just wouldn't choose Dragon Ball to, you know, I, I don't know. It, there's just so many other options that I think do a better job, in my opinion, of hooking the viewer than Dragon Ball does. The, mostly, if you're like a fan of, like, to, if you're going into Dragon Ball now and you haven't seen it before, the only reason you're doing it is most likely because you're a Dragon Ball fan. You know what I'm saying? It's most likely because of Z and maybe even because of Super. You're not really, you know, it, anime and manga is not what, it's it's not the same now like it was back then. You know, there, there's, there wasn't as much options in my opinion back then. Um, so, yeah, I think you're, you're kind of a little more limited back then as opposed to now. Um, but Dragon Ball really did not hook me. I actually had to go backwards. Um, I, I started watching Dragon Ball Z during the, during the Namek saga. When they had, when uh, everybody was just at Na uh, going to Namek, I, I, I imagine. Then I had to go backwards and rewatch the Saiyan arc with like Vegeta and Nappa and stuff like that. And that was my favorite arc by far. I love Goku versus Vegeta. That shit was amazing to me. And then after I finished Z and stuff like that, eventually um, I didn't go back into Dragon Ball up until like after Super finished. You know what I'm saying? Once Super finished airing, then I went back to Dragon Ball a little bit. And I kind of dab dabbled around in it a little bit here and there. I mostly went straight to the fights. I'll be honest with you guys. I did not watch it for the story. I skipped literally everything that wasn't a fight. <laughs> so that kind of tells you, you know, the consumers will be like, you know, hold on, let me pull them up again. I'm going to have to have this guy on standby. 
the, you know, these guys will be like, well, that's why. That's why you're a fucking meathead. And it's just like, no, man. I, you know, if I want to watch, like, adventure or something else, I'll watch something else for that. I, I just, I, Dragon Ball just doesn't do that well enough for me, for me to give a shit. So, there's that. Uh, you skipped Dragon Ball? I never said I skipped Dragon Ball. I said I skipped everything that wasn't a fight. That's what I said. <laughs> if it wasn't a fight or something, like, funny to watch, you know, like, funny character interactions and stuff like that, then I skipped it. I didn't care. You know, so... Fuck you. <laughs> Modern times. You're gonna sit there and tell me that we can't? Uh, for those guys who are just joining, we are, uh, we're just doing a reaction, I guess, to Unreal is the problems in the future of Dragon Ball Super. So, you know, Emish admitting he's a caveman. Hey, man. I grew up on stuff like Yu Hakusho, Hironi Kenshin, Inuyasha, all that stuff. And there's plenty of adventure in that. Um, you know... Uh, Gundam, I mean, Gundam Wing wasn't really adventure, but it kind of felt like that. Hell, SWAT Cats was kind of action and adventure packed. Fucking SWAT Cats. Who remembers SWAT Cats? You know, <laughs> Johnny Quest. Johnny Quest for the adventure. Hello? Fucking Space Ghost. And then you had all the other, like, you know, classic stuff like Spider Man, uh, uh, X Men. You know, you had all these other options. You know, I, so when it came to like adventure plus a mix of action, I, that's the kind of stuff I would watch. I just, I wouldn't, I, I could not get in a Dragon Ball like that. I just couldn't do it. I still can't do it, probably. So, Yu Yu Hakusho, yeah, it's, it's good. It's really good. It's good. And Yu Asha goes crazy, but got ass animation, so I don't know why people defend Super. I mean, compare the two, though. Uh, In Yu Asha was good for its time, is, the, is kind of the point. Dragon Ball Super was not good for its time. That's I think that's ultimately the point get anything better than that in terms of quality we can we're talking about a multi-billion dollar company that multi has fundamental assets and resources to give us the best possible product that could ultimately blow away ogdb swat cats street sharks um but there were so many things he-man bro there were so many fucking so many shows bro so many shows that was more, I think that was more of a Cartoon Network lineup, though. But you guys, you guys get the point. There was, you know, one billion dollars in multi-billion. Yeah, I'm talking to all of the purists and elitists that just praise OGDB as being untouchable. No, stop it, you gigantic fanboy. You know that if the suits really wanted to make an effort, they could blow out OGDB. They could blow out DBZ. They could blow <laughs> out GT. They could blow out anything <laughs> they've given us with Dragon Ball Super. Through oh, you guys like my wallpaper, bro? You see that wallpaper? That shit clean, right? sure that the product is good, and that's what I want. So, yeah, I'm going to sit here and say that let's just say if the Dragon Ball Super anime were to be announced tomorrow, and they're saying, hey... We're going to bring back the anime next week. Cool. What I want to see going forward is every single fucking episode look just like Dragon Ball Super Broly or better. Why? Because we, the consumers, deserve it. If the I was consumers. a corporate member working on the board and... Uh, I went to Sailor Moon when I was young, just about the same time Dragon Ball was coming out. I skipped Sailor Moon for obvious reasons. Uh, I, like, I would have it playing, but I never got into it. Um, so, but, you know, Sailor Moon was, I think, obviously more catered towards a specific audience, you know what I'm saying? So, nothing wrong and with that. I wanted your money. I would make sure that I would give you, again... Legion says that's wishful thinking. It is wishful thinking. It really is, but, um, it's also the correct, it's kind of like the correct stance to take, I think, to some extent. I wouldn't say, like, it has to look like Broly or better. My, my standard is to look damn near good. You know damn near good as Broly. You know what I'm saying? And just keep it consistent from that point. So. The customer, the best possible product out there, that way when you consume it and you devour it and you want more, you're going to come back to me and you're going to give me more of your money for said product exchange, right? To make money, you have to spend money and to make- Now, not with Dragon Ball. That's the, the Dragon Ball, you don't really have to spend too much. And you'll still make, you, you, I mean, they don't, they don't, I mean, come on. I mean, Superhero, The Breakers, Xenoverse 2 DLC. This is what 22, 2022 has lined up for us. And you have people on fucking Twitter, like these guys here, consumers, 
that are super excited about it. They're just, they're trying to market it like it's something to fucking praise. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, do you guys know the anime? Oh, Vanessa might know it. I don't know. Violet Evergarden. You might disagree. You It might not be your cup of tea for everyone in chat. But that fucking anime, bro, that the first time I watched it, there was a specific episode in there. I actually shed tears, bro. That fucking anime is amazing. It's 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 kind of lovey dovey, but it also has some action, and it's kind of dark as well. But actually, it's not really that lovey dovey. To to, uh, to to be honest, it's it's actually very dark to some extent. Like it's more like tragic, if anything. But um, that fucking anime, Violet Evergarden, is amazing. What anime did you say it's called? Violet Evergarden. Violet Ever... Why does it say Grande? That's stupid. Violet Evergarden. That's the that's the main character. Her arms are not real arms. They're mechanical arms because she lost them in the war. Because uh, ever since she was a little girl, she was trained to be a human weapon. So she's a war machine, basically. Um, trying, to t trying to find the meaning of love is essentially the plot. And every single episode is a fucking massive character development to the point where you're just like, wow. You you actually want this bitch to find happiness. That's how that's how fucking good it is. You want this bitch to find happiness. You're like, bro, I, I'm rooting for you. Go get him, girl. Like, that's the kind of shit that it was. I never thought that I would like it. I never thought that I would like it up until I gave it a chance. But I miss you. would rather watch this than watch OG Dragon Ball? Yes. Yes. You can clip me saying it. I'd rather watch this. I have nothing against OG Dragon Ball. It just doesn't hook me the same way that this does. Needs more muscles? Uh, no, this chick got enough muscles, trust me. Evergarden stream? <laughs> Facts. I'm just saying, bro. Um, it's The plot is good. Visually, it's amazing. The fucking water looks like fucking water, bro. It looks like actual water. Like, but yeah. Make even more money, you have to put out a good great show a fight scene from that anime no i don't want to get my shit clip my clip my uh my stream claim excellent just go look it up bro product right you're not gonna go out and buy a product continuously if it might watch that anime uh when you have the time i highly recommend you guys go watch violet evergarden it's a different it's different but i highly recommend you guys go watch it it's not long it's like fucking 14 episodes or something like that it's very short but it is worth the watch I'd say it's a, I think it's a masterpiece. I swear to God, no cap. It's a masterpiece. I'm not even, it's so good. It is so fucking good. It's just garbage. You're not going to go out and buy a new car. If it's not new, if the transmission is, I will consume it then is missing. <laughs> if there's no brakes on the goddamn car, you know what I mean? You're not going to buy, let's just say a PS five. That's missing all of its parts and stuff, right? It just, so you are an anime guy. I mean, I like manga too. Hello there, Ibrahim Anwar. Ibrahim make any Anwar. Any sense? So I <laughs> want to see something way better than the quality we've seen with Dragon Ball Super's original anime airing from episode 1 to 131. Yeah, they were switching up animators and they were having problems with the staff and whatever, but that's them. You're a multi-billion dollar company. Why? Multi-billion. Fulfillion. Do you think Moro is stronger than Jiren? Yeah. Why the fuck are you having so many internal problems within your board? I don't understand. Because they don't care, dude. Understand why is everyone in such conflict with each other? Why? One Piece doesn't have that issues. They don't have those issues. They remind me of Blizzard. Toei reminds me of Blizzard sometimes, with the exception of like the degeneracy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because like Diablo had had the same issues that like Dragon Ball Super had with its anime. Um, Diablo, like the game, like every Diablo product and game, it just felt lackluster. It did not feel like Diablo. It was half-assed. It was fucking boring as fuck. And, uh, you know, it was just, it was just like, it was just really sad. And the team, like the, the team over at Blizzard that was handling Diablo games and products overall, they just kept leaving. They kept being transferred to World of Warcraft because more people were spending money on World of Warcraft. Um, uh, you know, so it's just... I don't know. There's no real excuse. You know, I don't. I wouldn't compare Blizzard and Toei to one another. I feel like Toei has more more resources available to it than Blizzard does. At least back the Blizzard from back then, not the one from now. Um, 
definitely had more available, I think, at Toei. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I don't know. Um, maybe I, maybe I'm just retarded. Maybe I'm just a... I'm a, I'm a based consumer. I'm a consumer with a, with a U, not with two O's. Is there such a confliction of ideas and directions? That just goes... When Super Air, they only had two months to prepare after ROF. Assuming that's true, that's not my fucking fault. <laughs> Arcana or Arcana had better animation than Super. I tr Speaking of which, I tried to watch it. I can't get into it. That shit is boring. Show, for whatever fucking reason, when it comes to Dragon Ball Super, the people behind the scenes, the staff members and heads in charge behind the scenes, don't all seem to be on the same page. That's fairly evident. And... Nobody knows why. I don't give a fuck if you're a goddamn content creator, if you're a fan, if you live in Japan. Nobody. Nobody. I'm going to say this again very clearly. Nobody. I just noticed. Look how flat that phone is. I got to tell Unreal about that. I got to talk to him. Like, yo, why is your phone? You have the world's thinnest phone. He has the world's thinnest phone on his desk in this image. That that phone? Look how fucking thin that phone is. Damn. No. It's just a screen. Nobody knows. Nobody truly knows, truly knows what's happening. I know you don't watch it, but still, I tried to watch the first two episodes, and that shit was boring. I couldn't get into it. I don't I don't know what people see in it, but I feel like the most of the people that watch Arcana are just because they play League of Legends or are fans of it. Outside of that, eh, I don't know. Behind the scenes, what's happening behind closed doors? I don't give a fuck who you are. You don't know the conversations that Toyotaro is having with Toriyama. You don't know definitively, as if you're a fly on the goddamn wall. You don't know what's being said between Toriyama and the heads of Toei, Toriyama and Victory Uchida, and all of these people behind Dragon Ball Super, which is concerning because then that begs the question. What the hell is really going on behind closed doors where there is so much internal conflict between board members? Everyone seems... Isn't Toriyama, like, home all the time? And he, he, like, contacts these people through email mostly? Like, he doesn't leave his house. So there's that. Like, he's rarely ever there. But it's not like he has to be either because the guy is so, like... It's so weird because it's, like, it's his product in a way. Like, you know, he's the author and stuff. He, he made it. But he just feels, like, so irrelevant. <laughs> this, am I the only one that feels that way? That Akira Toriyama feels so irrelevant to all of this? It, it's it's just weird, dude. Like, he's just... He's just there. He's like a... It's... I don't know, man. Yeah, sure, whatever. That's fine. Yeah, I agree. I agree with Andrew. Yeah, he just... <laughs> seems to have somewhat of a... Is that cap Cyberpunk 2077 before they patched it? <laughs> a direction at Chris Pitt with the one. What is it with Chris Pitt and donating one ninety nine all the time, dude? As to where they want appreciate Super it, appreciate to go it. in, but then ultimately enough, at some point somewhere along the line, the train just goes off track and it derails into the mountain. Why? Do you know what I mean? And so whoever it is that's allowing for the Dragon Ball Super Program is a hermit now, to yeah. continuously be approved the way it is, because I'm not saying that Dragon Ball Super is the absolute lowest form of quality and it's trash. I'm not saying that at all, actually. I just want it to be much, much better than what we're getting, because you know, you know as well as I'm, you know damn well when I say it could be. And it can be because it's being backed up and ran by a multi-billion, multi-billion, multi-billion dollar company. God damn, if I had billions of dollars, billions, boy, I would give you the greatest motherfucking possible quality of dragon ball because guess what happens then you're gonna consume it you're gonna praise it you're, you're gonna, gonna love it, it and you're gonna come back to me right? but they but they do consume it they do consume isn't there like a consumer meme uh the consumer ah <laughs> Yes, here it is, the consumer. <laughs> yes. Look at the consumer. <laughs> Yo, look at the fucking consumer. <laughs> oh, shit, man. <laughs>
the consumer. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's so good. Let me see. Let me, hold on. The white liberal consumer. Uh, <laughs> let me, hold on. Why is that shit not clear? Oh, that's why. I should just, I should just super small, dude. Uh, any personal decision in a Zack Snyder film? It, oh, whatever. That, fuck it. Who cares about that guy? The 20 year old consumer. Oh, man. New product, new product. <laughs> okay, that's accurate. Me want new product. Here's a Xenoverse 2 DLC. Fuck, I need more hmm. I need more hmm. <laughs> Funko Pops, yay. Watched Infinity War 104 times. No, children bad. Me want more product now, now. He doesn't want kids. He just wants more product. He wants to consume. Complains he can't pay college. Still spends money on fucking Star Wars merch. Yo, this is accurate. This is... <laughs> Works at McDonald's. Still proud of it. New product. Yay. Has a shelf full of Avengers shit. He lives to consume. He consumes to live. <laughs> product. New product. Please. I need more, 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 more. Doesn't even read the news. He just consumes. Doesn't need money to buy food. He eats bugs like the bug man he is. Bro, this is this is accurate. This is accurate. The consumer. Oh, shit. <laughs> right? Like Thanos. Back to me, right? You're going to come back to me with more of your money, and that's how I make a profit, right? <laughs> we want that's product. the way the business world works. You want to make sure to put out a viable, suitable, great quality product for your consumers to, you know, invest in. That way you yourself as an- Jelani7 says, I will be honest, I do get the Xenoverse 2 DLC. Oh, we need to- we need, He's a consumer. Jelani is consuming. Jelani is a consumer. No. <laughs> no, Jelani is a consumer. <laughs> Oh, man, he consumes to live and lives to consume. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Entity as a corporate entity could make even more profit off of. I mean, that's just basic business marketing. You can't put out a shit quality product and expect for the consumer to come back. No, the consumer is going to go elsewhere. And that's what I'm saying here is I don't want the Dragon Ball Super anime to come back anytime <laughs> soon because I have this very, very strange feeling that if it were to come back, it's either A, going to look the exact same as it did with episodes 1 to 131 for Dragon Ball Super's original airing, or B, it might look kind of like heroes in a way where sometimes <laughs> heroes looks decent, but more often than not, it's just very lazy or C, one of my biggest fears now is it might come back looking like Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2's DLC's cutscenes and stuff. I don't want that shit. And if you're going to settle for that, you're a dishonest piece of crap because you can't sit there and say, no, if you settle for that, you're a consumer. You're just consuming. <laughs> That's all. You just live to consume new product. Yeah. You love OGDB for what it was in terms of visual quality. You can't sit there and say that you love Dragon Ball Z for its visual representation and quality, or even Dragon Ball Super Broly, and then settle for CG bullshit cutscenes. Are you out of your fucking mind? Did you see how garbage? Gohan versus Gamma 1 looked like by comparison to Broly versus Vegeta, Broly versus Goku, Broly versus Gogeta. And I know some of these crybaby apologists. <laughs> yeah, yo. <laughs> the trailer for Broly has like a Go Broly and Goku clashing with each other, right? And that looks better. Like, it's just flat out better than Superhero. Granted, I'm sure Superhero will look better overall. Like, not better than Broly, though. No, hell no. I'm, say I'm saying. It'll look better in comparison to its trailer because its trailer and marketing has been abysmal. Um, you know, I'm sure the movie will be fun or whatever it is, uh, but it's just not. It's just not something that I don't. I just don't think it's the direction that needs to be taken at this moment in time. Like you could do something with Gohan, but you know, um, it, it just feels like it really does feel forced. That's that's what that's I guess like the biggest problem with it. 
just purists might say, oh my god, you're just saying that because it's Broly. I don't give a fuck if the movie was called Dragon Ball Super Cooler, Dragon Ball Super Slug, Dragon Ball Super Garlic Jr. Yeah, the fact that Dragon Ball Super Broly was literally about Broly, and it was as good as it is, is a good example of you taking an old idea and just making it work. It's, it's, it's really a good example of that. Um, the last new thing that we got for a movie was Battle of the Gods. That was the freshest thing that we got in a long time. The freshest, right? So ROF is, was dog shit. But Broly was just like, okay, yeah, these guys are actually trying now, you know? So basically Alex's point is that he just wants them to try a little more. Um, because trying a little more uh, or just trying just overall in comparison to like how they try for One Piece... Um, if you could even take drag, if you could look, you if you could take Dragon Ball, and value it, not the same way you do One Piece, but damn near close to it, I think it would be a better product overall. I think it would be pretty damn good. Dragon Ball Super, whatever. It's not even about the character. You could have switched out Broly for whoever. It's just the movie itself, through its visual representation and artistic choices, made Dragon Ball Super Broly look so good, and the quality was so high that the standard, the bar, was set so high up that fans at this point should not settle for less. In which I challenge you to go back, go back and watch Dragon Ball Super Broly and take a look at all of the small details, right? From the particle explosions to, you know, Frieza destroying planet Vegeta, to the scouter numbers, to the way the coats were moving, the way, you know, Broly would literally grab onto Vegeta's throat and you see the spit. And you know what's weird? I just realized this, that like, the consumer, what am I doing? Well, that's the wrong one. Why is this even here? Oh, that's why. It's from uh, Photoshop. Okay. Um, the consumer... I found this pretty odd. Like, you know how in Dragon Ball Super Broly, they have, like, uh, Bardock's, Bardock's um, portrayal is from, like, Minus and stuff? They hate that Bardock because he's the story time Bardock. That's the story... That's the, that's the Bardock with the lore. Right? Um... They like Bandana Bardock, Red Bandana Bardock, because he fights more. But then they hate Broly because he just screams and fights. It's just really weird. They're just really, really, really weird. Same with Gogeta and stuff. Like They just dislike Broly for the same reason that they like Bardock. It's so, it's so odd. And the sweat, and you see all of this, right? It's amazing, was it not? Yeah, it was. And you know that I know that I know that you know that I'm telling the truth right now. And that Dragon Ball Super Broly, through its, again, visual representation, artistic choices, hell, even the fucking score. Sumitomo nailed it. Sumitomo nailed it. Sumitomo Everything nailed was it, great. Bro. And now here we are, Dragon Ball Super, Super Hero. Listen, <laughs> I'm excited to see it because it's a new movie. I want to see what this is about, but through its visual representation, sorry, I'm not going to sit here and praise it to say, oh my God. So that's kind of like the issue there too, is that like, you know, he does admit to being like excited for it. And I know what he's saying because I know him. So I understand like his overall excitement for getting something new is there just because you know, Dragon Ball is still alive somehow, even if it's on its deathbed, it's still living, it's still kicking, right? That's kind of like what he's saying. But at the same time, like, I told him flat out, like, uh, I'm not going to the theaters to watch it. Um, I, I, I'm not. I am probably just going to go onto GoGo Anime or somewhere and just watch it from there. I, I And I'll be honest about it. I'll be fucking honest about it. I went to the movie to watch Broly. I went to the theater to watch Broly. I'm not doing it for this one. Uh, because I'm, I, I have better things to spend my money on, honestly. So, you, you know, you guys can, like, dislike, you know, dislike me for saying that. I'm just being honest about it. I, I have no intention of spending money on that. Uh, Amish admitting to criminal activity? No, I never, I never admit to criminal activity. I just said that I'm going to watch it somewhere else. That's all. That's all I said. I'll just be watching it somewhere else, 4K. <laughs> So, you know, it, it is what it is, man. I mean. But Gohan is in it. Oh, my God. But Pan. I'm just going to pirate it for Broly. Uh, Jelani7 says that. Uh, what, what, I think the correct term would be, I'm just going to one piece it. I'm going to one piece it. I'm going to straw hat the fucking movie.
in. Oh, Piccolo, cool. I mean, you couldn't as a company, as a multi-billion dollar company. Multi-billion. You couldn't have given us better. Why are you giving us a movie with this kind of quality? Why are you choosing to run with this new CG tech for this film? Are you testing it out? This is a horrible way to test something out with. If you want to use any, I guess, Dragon Ball IP as like a crash test dummy, if you want to test this new CG tech, test it on Heroes. Just test it on Heroes. Heroes is an experiment anyway. Right? Or test it on Xenoverse 3. How about that? Like, make a new game with it. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just don't make a movie. Maybe an OVA or something. Like, an OVA or, like, this is something. Like, the arc itself just screams anime side arc. Or an OVA at best. You know what I mean? Like, we don't need a movie for this. Right? If you want to kind of see if your audience gravitates towards what it is that you're doing, why are you going to test it out with a movie and not with anything less just to kind of test the audience to see if they accept it or not? You're going to try to... Why hasn't Dragon Ball ever made an, an MMO? Have, uh, don't they have Dragon Ball Online? Whatever that is. Um, what my I wonder is why they've never made a MOBA game. I'd, I'd play the fuck out of a MOBA game. Like, bruh. I would... Bro, that game would immediately be top five esports titles. Depending on who's handling it. If it's Bandai, we're fucked. But if it's someone, you know, fucking... Uh, just someone qualified to handle it? I don't know, man. It'd be amazing, I think. Uh, who's your favorite character in Super? I forgot. I think it's... Uh, I think it's Beerus. Is it Beerus? I don't remember who my favorite character is. Run with that with Dragon Ball Super Superhero? Really? And you're going to expect universal praise? And for people not to sit there and question after watching Broly to suggest, whoa, that was cool. Um, what the hell is this? You know what I mean? And I, for the life of me, would love to know who is approving certain things behind the scenes. Because once again, my main message right now is that we could get the possible best quality representation of Dragon Ball from a multi-billion dollar company ball ever in history if these people were all collectively on the same page with the same vision having to invest the most amount of money in giving us the best and that's why i don't want the anime to return anytime soon because i have this lingering feeling that they're going to once again settle for less and they're going to sit there and say well the fans are going to consume it anyway which is sad because they live to consume and consume to live. Because it's true. The Japanese fans, the American fans. I hated that Goku did a friendship speech to Jiren who turned into a cheap villain. It was fairy tale writing. Um, I don't know, dude. I think that's kind of a reach, but okay, that's fine. You know, no big deal. My uncle works for Toy Animation. Really? That poor guy. Thank you, thank you, Kazun. <laughs> Hello, Kazun. What's up, man? How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Are you working right now or are you, are you not working? Guys, Kazun. Kazun is the dude with like the Japanese name in chat. The one saying thank you, thank you. This dude is straight out of Japan. Like he's from Japan. So say hi to him. Everyone say hi to him. Say hi to Kazun. Kazun-san. I don't know if that's the correct way to do it. I don't even know, but... All of the fans around the world, surely enough, we all love Dragon Ball. I'm not saying that none of us here love it, that we all hate it. If you hate Dragon Ball, you're a fucking moron. And I'll tell you that to your face. Don't and you won't master. do anything about it because I'm an athlete. And <laughs> Can I'm you adopt me, bro? I can't stand it here. Nah, bro, I'm good, man. <laughs> I'm a combat athlete. so I'd Oh, are you talking to Kazun? Kazun, do you want Kazun to adopt you? <laughs> oh, man. Slap you, right? I actually do want to go to Japan one day. Like, if I ever get very wealthy, I feel like the first place that I would probably go is Japan. I want to just go to Japan and just buy a bunch of shit. Like, I'd drop you in a heartbeat, so don't even go there. But the point here is that anyone that settles for less is a part of that problem. Why, you may ask, is because you're settling for something that's less when you know you could be getting better and more out of it, but 
It's the people in charge. They're the ones that are kind of half-assing it for whatever reason. Is it fear? You're not going to lose money, homie. Toei, you're not going to lose anything by doing this, by actually putting in effort. And I think we can all collect... The best... <laughs> beat the shit out of collectively agree that let's just say if they really went oh, balls to man. the wall and if they really 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 tried if dragon ball super's anime were to come back that shit <laughs> would blow every other anime out of the goddamn water i don't care what anime show you're a fan of you know that to be the truth if and only Bro, if Amish ever takes off on crypto, he gonna fly out to Toei and flame Toyo. Bro, I was telling Unreal yesterday when we were going going over some ideas for like my shirt and stuff, my my merch. Um, there was a shirt that I saw on Teespring. I'm, I'm gonna find it right now for you guys. Hold on. Oh no, wait. Uh, let me see. Teespring Anatomy shirt. Let me see if I can find it. That's Grey's Anatomy. What the fuck? No, dude. Damn it. It was a. Um... Ah, oh, fuck, man. Teespring. Let's, let's try this again. Hold on. Let's try this again. Can I find it somewhere? Can I search something? Jesus Christ, Teespring is terrible. Why would I want to put my fucking shirt here? Uh, Goyi Choban. Why is my shit in a weird language? What's happening? My computer is hacked. Ah, oh, shit. My computer is fucked. Alright, hold on. Let's see. Where do I... Ting Vet. Baumat, QN Rang 2, Deal Cohen, what is happening? Um, shot by products. Shot by products. Oh, fuck my life. Oh, man. Let me see if I type anatomy here. Anatomy. Uh, oh, it was from Redbubble. That's why. It was Redbubble. There it is. Here it is. Do you see this shirt? I was going to wear this shirt and ask Toyota Tower to sign it. I, I want this shirt. I literally want this shirt. <laughs> so bad. I want this shirt so bad. Because I would love to meet Toyo Taro and ask him to sign it. I, I, I really am. I, re I would really love to do that. Love it. If the people behind Super were to do that, Super would be at its peak in terms of everything. Music, voice acting, it's storyboard representation, it's visual representation, right? In adapting and evolving and giving us the very best because we all deserve it. I don't see why we deserve anything less when everybody knows that we could be getting so much more. And that's my point. And that's why when I look at Dragon Ball Super Superhero, by comparison to Dragon Ball Super Broly, in circle terms the of its visual <laughs> representation. Circle the next sec. I would have him sign the next sec the, the next section. I want him to sign the neck. The anatomy. On the anatomy chart, I want Toyotaro to sign the neck part. <laughs> it's visual quality. Yeah. For a CG-esque kind of film, it looks decent. For a game, if this shit was a game, I would be like, yeah, I'm definitely getting it because the game looks pretty cool, but it's not a game, it's a film. Yeah, that's true, I agree with him. Uh, C says, it's sad that Blackscape and Mastar and Saiyan Scholar just burnt out of DBS. Um, Mastar is just kind of, he's always been that way. He's been like that for a while now. He's just focusing on his own thing, which is good. Saiyan Scholar is obviously burnt out. And Blackscape is a different scenario. Um, I think Blackscape just does like... I don't even know what he does. I, I see a lot of like... Whatever like a Blackscape video is ever re recommended to me, it's I see just tits on it. So I, I can't say um, that I fully understand what he's up to. Uh, I have an idea, uh, but I don't want to speak objectively. Um, so... Yo, Amish, do you think they should make Raging Blast 3 for 2022? Uh, I don't know, bro, because what you're getting is Xenoverse 2 DLC, so have, have fun. <laughs> it's a multi-million, perhaps... Their, their priority... Dude, it, it, it tells you what their priorities are in, right? Like, their priorities as a collective. It's not just Toei. It's like their whole, their whole collective priority is Xenoverse 2 DLC. Kakarot DLC. The only game that deserves DLC, to my knowledge, is fucking uh, Fighters, but that's because it... It's by Arc System for the most part, and in, in collaboration with Bandai or whatever. But you know, Fighters is like a very competitive fighting game. You know, there's tons of tournaments and stuff like that. It's, it's very competitive. The other games just are. 
you know, maybe Kakarot, I suppose, maybe, but not Xenoverse 2. So it just tells you where their priorities are lying in right now. They don't want to... Uh, I, mean, you, I mean, you want Raging Blast? You want a new Raging Blast game? No, too bad. Here's Dragon Ball The Breakers. I mean, uh, come on, guys. Wake up. Billion dollar investment for them to put in so much time, effort, and energy into giving us this, but you're settling with tech that's less? How could anyone defend this? How could anyone defend something less than what Consumers. we see with Broly? And again, I know the apologists Consumers. are going to cry, but Alex, you have to understand that this person is no longer here. That person is working on this. Uh, I don't give a fuck. That's not my fucking problem. That's not my problem. If I was a business owner and I if, knew that I had to get the- If I was in charge of a multi-billion dollar company- Best business workers to work on whatever it is that I'm doing- I would secure you. I would lock you in and not let you go. Sure, yeah. Shintani and, you know, Sheeta and all these people might be going here and there working on this show, working on that show. That's fine. But goddamn, I would lock your ass in for Dragon Ball Super if you're the one that's giving me the best quality for my work, for yep. the fans to love and appreciate and respect and consume through consume. profit by giving us their money. Consume. I would lock you in. I would definitely lock in Shintani forever. I would lock in, you know, Sheeta and all of these guys because Consumers they know what they're only doing. Their, their visual facts. representation of what Dragon Ball is fits. It fits what Dragon Ball should be. And that's why I don't want to settle for anything less. And it's kind of sad because this also goes, you know, hand in hand with the Dragon Ball Super manga. I happen to enjoy, genuinely, the Dragon Ball Super manga. Yeah, there are lots of hiccups. Trust me, I never claimed that the Dragon Ball Super manga had the <clears throat> best representation of the story either because... I don't really enjoy the manga. I used to, but I, I can't stand it now. You can see... You guys know what manga I, I do enjoy though, right? Kakume. Kakume. That's the only manga that I enjoy. That's the only Dragon Ball manga I enjoy. ...that when they go along by introducing something really cool, and then they fumble. Why are you fumbling? Why are you- Because Toy Taro's, I mean, all these guys are just lazy, bro. They're, they, they're, they're not creative. Um, you know, the manga's a good example. Like, okay, so look at ROF and then the Broly movie, right? That's a good example of what the manga is. So, and what I mean by that is this. Uh, <laughs> the Broly movie is an old idea, okay? It's an old idea. But it worked, and it was fucking beautiful. The manga just constantly reuses old ideas, and they can't make it work. Why? Because they don't have the team, the same team that, for example, that they had when they were doing the Broly stuff. They just don't. The, the, the oomph is not there. It's, it's just not. So the manga right now is basically uh, like <laughs> what Dragon Ball Super has been collectively. Uh, and what Dragon Ball has been collectively. It, you can really tell the difference when you have a good team around something versus when you don't. Because when you don't have a good team around anything, all you really have is just a bunch of ideas. That's it. And more than half the time, they're the same shit done over and over again. So that's just a good example of how, how good Broly was because it had such a good team behind it. Versus what they're doing with this shit. So I don't know, dude. Like, I mean, I don't know. Are you fumbling, bumbling around? That's the point. That's my that's my question. Is what's happening here? Why are you people introducing and having such creative ideas to introduce and give us great things, but somewhere along the line, you fuck up the manga in a sense with its story, and you fuck up its anime through its visual representation and artistic choices? Why are we fucking this up? I'm not sure. Yeah, facts. We need a Jiren OVA. That's what we need sure if any other anime show has this exact same problem i'm pretty sure that you know there are little hiccups yeah if dragon ball did stuff like that where they made ovas uh for like specific things that they didn't want to include in the anime like in the main story um that'd be great that would work really well superhero i think superhero would do better as an ova like overall i think it would be it would be better received as an ova than an actual fucking movie 
um you know same st same stuff for like other arcs that they want to do you know like granola's backstory as an ova jiren's the stuff as an ova uh you know uh beerus's how he became a god of destruction what he had to go through and all this, uh, as an ova um they just don't have the same energy you know uh but whatever i don't know it's along the line here that you know kind of make each episode remind me of people that defend biden's presidency <laughs> don't seem stagnant sometimes but jesus christ this is like a recurring thing for super and is, is it toriyama is it really him is it victor uchida is it anybody else from bird studios who is it like who is in charge of all of this to just say yeah let's just give him less or let's just half-ass everything i don't want to see this be half you know i i have this to me, this is my theory. The reason they're quote unquote half-assing it is because the threat just isn't the same as Broly. Um, the characters themselves just aren't the same presence as Goku, Vegeta, Broly, Beerus, Gogeta, Bardock, Frieza. They're just not the same presence at all. So that's their fucking excuse to kind of be less on everything. Um, that's how I see it. Half-assed? If they adapt the moral arc, which they will, if you have- Hello, I'm sorry, I'm late. It's fine. For those guys joining in now, I mean, it's fine if you missed whatever, um, you know. brain, you would know that. We're like halfway through this video, um, so feel free to, you know, stick around or watch the stream when, uh, you know, when it's over. If they adapt the granola arc, which they will, if you have a brain, you'll know that, I want to see that in the highest possible quality, the best quality. I want to see the best voice acting come from said individuals who are going to be a part of that. I want to see Sumitomo come back and nail the tracks. I want nail to see them. him destroy everything. Destroy. The way he did and the way he could. I want to see the best visual representation the of the battles of the subtle moments of the training everything, right? Don't you don't you think that we deserve that? We do. No. We do. You know, no, no, no. In our You deserve whatever they give you if you're if you're a consumer. For modern time right now in the current age that we're living in, there is no reason to <laughs> settle for less. There is no reason for <laughs> them to half ass anything, which begs the question, why is it happening? Why are they afraid of losing money? I don't buy into that. Are they uh. afraid of change? Maybe. Are they trying to save money? <laughs> save money? A billion dollar company? A billion dollar plus? You're trying to save money? Yes. Okay. I'm not buying it, but sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, I guess, if that's going to be your excuse for that. So what really is it, you know? What's really holding Dragon Ball Super back from becoming... Uh, depends on if you prefer side or main characters. I'm tired of just Goku and Vegeta. Yeah, but... See, that's kind of like, that's why you have side arcs and OVAs, you know? Um, because if you had the other, if you had th like spinoffs and stuff like that to go off of, uh, what it does is it gives you options. Um, and it gives you less of Goku and Vegeta and more of other characters that aren't actually like expanded on. They're just there. They just exist. So that's why, you know, the idea of having OVAs with, like, Granola stuff, Beerus' stuff, Jiren stuff. Like, even even though these are all, like, super strong characters, but guess what? There's still characters that we don't really know too much about that perhaps a lot of a lot of people in the fandom, consumers, would like to get to know a little better. You know? Um, they could do, like, the OG drama movies. Yeah, they could do some stuff like that, too. Um, so, you know, I mean... Yeah, whatever the absolute best that it could possibly be i truly wonder that question and that's why you'll never see me say oh i am so excited i want the anime to come back tomorrow no because i have such little faith in toy animation giving us something great with its product that i'm afraid if they were to give us the anime and rush it out quickly it might either a look like dragon ball super superhero which i'm sorry to say <laughs> pass i don't want that or b it just might look the exact same as it was before when the dragon ball super anime was airing and even though i would still watch it and share my views and opinions and perspectives and whatnot on the show i 
would still feel subpar and seeing that by comparison to what they can do if they were to then put all of their eggs and then some into that basket to give us the best they could possibly give us, right? Don't you all want to see that? I do, which is why I'm not desperate for an anime to come back because I have lack of faith with Toei. It's not to say, right, and I want you to pay attention to this, it's not to say that the people behind the scenes aren't talented or they're not capable of giving us something great, but I feel it. You know, I've often said lately that if the anime came back and it was like CG and all this other shit, or just as ass as Super was, um, in terms of like production value, whatever, that I wouldn't watch it. The only way I would ever watch it is if I, it's for like, it's just to make videos on as far as money's concerned, but I wouldn't like invest a lot of like energy in terms of caring about it or like doing explained videos. And, you know, I just, I, I wouldn't put as much energy um, as I used to, that's for sure. Um, but, eh, you know, that's, that's, that's my stance on that. As though there are probably specific individuals that are preventing said creative choices from going through, and I think those people need to be fired. Yes, fired. I don't care who Canceled. you are. If Fire you're them. preventing Dragon Ball Super from being the best it could possibly be, get the fuck out. And please, I would hope the door would hit you on the ass on the way out. You don't deserve to be there if you're purposely or even indirectly affecting this franchise in a sense where you're not allowing it to progress in becoming the best. I want to sit there, and it's not to suggest that I haven't sat there to watch the Dragon Ball Super anime episodes again, because I did. But can you imagine, and I want you to... Tristan Shaw has a, uh, brings up a very good point. Uh, with what they've produced so far, kind of feels like them making the Dragon Ball room was pointless. Yeah, because it doesn't feel like anything has happened. At all. Like, what? why does that room exist? Take this example, which I understand there's a difference between the anime episodes and movies, but I want you to really visualize this for a second. Can you imagine the quality we've seen with... Movies such as Path to Power, Dragon Ball Z, Fusion Reborn, Dragon Ball Super Broly, stuff like that, right? Now, bro, Gohan versus Broly. Um, this just looks better than Superhero. Like, flat out. It just looks better. Bro. Oh, wait. Hold on. Can I get a good, a fucking decent GIF? There we go. Look at that, bro. This movie is 100 years old. This is the second Broly movie. <laughs> this is Gohan turning Super Saiyan versus Broly. This shit is clean as fuck. This shit looks better than the superhero. Just flat out. No cap. Look at that shit. No fucking cap. You know, granted that you have Broly in this movie uh, clotheslining Videl and she survives it, you know. There are some questionable things in the movie happening. But, you know, as far as how it looks, I mean... Look at that, bro. Look at that, bro. That shit is way better than Superhero. Look at Gohan, bro. You guys want Gohan? Oh, that shit is slow motion. That shit is ass. That shit is ass, bro. Come on, bro. He got a big forehead, but it is what it is. Come on, man. Fusion Reborn. Come on, bro. Look at this shit. Come on, man. Look at Goku, bro. Turning Super Saiyan 3 versus Janimba. That shit is clean. That, like, <laughs> where's the disconnect? Pow. Right in the fucking neck. Right in the throat, dude. Pow. <laughs> Look at this shit, dude. Like, come on now. 
Come on, man. Shit, better than superhero. That's all I know. That's all I know. But, you know. And then, this is just easily. Come on. Like, this is just easily better than superhero. This is not even fucking close. This is not close. Look at that. This is... It's not even close. Not even close, dude. But, you know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just, uh... I'm just a hater, you know. I'm just a fucking hater, that's all. Yawn. Ah, let's keep going. I want you to visualize this and imagine if we saw that happen during the events of the Battle of Gods retelling, during the events of the ROF retelling, during the events of the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 tournaments, during the events of the Goku Black arc, during the events of all of the filler stuff. I mean, fuck it, the Potafu stuff, copy Vegeta, whatever. It was yeah, trash, I'm not a real fan. I never claimed to be a real fan, second, though. Right? The Tournament of Power, which is considered to be the greatest arc so far in Super when it comes down to, again, its visual representation, score, etc., etc., but... After seeing what we saw with Broly quality in terms of its direction and what they did with that, can you imagine Goku versus Jiren in that kind of sense? Where we saw that be adapted similar to what they've done and did with Dragon Ball Super Broly? The fights, the atmosphere, the tension, the level of buildup, everything would have been that much better because the quality would have been through the goddamn roof. You know what I mean? So, like, that's my point. I want Dragon Ball Super to come back. But I'm not going to settle for anything. I'm sorry, less, Pepe. Unless I'm YouTube is shit. I know. To, unless all of us just have no other choice but then to settle with what they put out, which again isn't objectively the greatest thing. Because let's just say if Super came back and it looked like what we've seen go down in the previous installation of Dragon Ball Super from episodes one to 131. What more can we do outside of just accept it, right? I know a lot of people are going to settle for that to say, okay, well, it's good enough for me. And surely enough, I may enjoy certain portions of it, but I would want it to be even better than its current representation in it showing us the Moro arc, the Granola arc, possibly hey, even- Hey, Beyond over Granola? I don't know about that. I, I like Gr I mean, they're both cool. Tapion just looks like another fucking cushion though. But I like, uh, I like Granola more. Um, I just don't like, like, I just don't like, you know, the author. I have an issue with the author is, is my issue with Granola. But other than that, I like Granola. Oh, wait, I made a boo-boo here. Let's, let's keep going. The Broly movie retelling, stuff like that. And it's just been an ongoing theme for these people behind the scenes. As an example, I'm not going to sit there and bullshit. The name, the title of Dragon Ball Super Superhero is just complete and utter dog shit. I mean, we can all sit there and agree to that. Because yeah, I mean, like, Dragon Ball Super, Broly, you know. You, you can argue that that was dog shit, but it actually really wasn't. It's like, it's just simple and effective. You know what I'm saying? Uh, C, C says, real question, do you talk about Dragon Ball because it was your favorite anime? Or because it makes you money? Because right now there are other animes that get better views, just saying. Um... I have kind of a following that revolves around Dragon Ball, so that's like the only reason I talk about it. Um, so I guess mostly monetary, you know. Um, it's mostly monetary, I suppose, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if it's my favorite. It's not my favorite anime. Death Note is my favorite. Uh, but I like I like Dragon Ball, and, you know, I, I ended up, uh, you know, talking to Unreal, and then I met a lot of other people through that, so I ended up just sticking with it, you know. Um, I'd love to talk about other stuff, but the problem is that if I upload something else on this channel, you fuckers don't watch it. Or, or you just don't get notified of it. I don't know what it is, but I, I'm not going to put effort into something that's not going to give me some kind of return, if that you know makes sense. So, What's up, Wexer? Because a lot of the name choices for Dragon Ball Super, as an example, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. You got freaking Dragon Ball Super Superhero. You have this and that. A lot of the names and the choices for a lot of these names are absolutely atrocious. Ultra Ego. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, it's the counter to Goku's peacefulness and the yin and the yang, so it makes sense because... It's ego, Alex. Shut up. Are you kidding me? You wouldn't have chosen anything other 
than Ultra Ego? What about Hakaishin Vegeta or Destroyer Vegeta or whatever? You know what I mean? So it's little things like that that I think affect the overall product. And I've seen this time and time again in the fandom where people are. I'll watch a One Punch Man manga video by you. I may, I may do that. I may, I may just, uh, I may, I may go, I may go live one day and, uh, just pull up One Punch Man and just read that shit. Kind of like how I did Kakume. I don't know. I might try that one day. Excited. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But don't you want to see a better product come from the same multi-billion dollar company that produces many other animes that, seemingly enough, everybody loves and enjoys? And I think that's the point here. I think that people allow their excitement to overtake the objective perspective <laughs> to suggest, <laughs> okay, I'm comfortable with settling for less. And I'm tired of it. So that's why I could care less if Dragon Ball Super's anime came out tomorrow or if it came out 10 years from now. I'm good. You know what I mean? I want it to come back tomorrow. I don't mind I the names personally. Insanely Super Saiyan God is fine. Super Saiyan God is Super Saiyan. It's fine. Um, I don't have an issue with it. And then like... Ultra Ego is shit, though. That, that form is just dog shit. I want it to feel like a movie product every single time I'm watching this. Because we, not just myself, but we, you as well, we all deserve it as fans, as consumers, right? Because once again, if they want to make money, fine, no problem. Make all the money in the world. We'll give you everything. We'll toss our fucking wallet to your face, right? But Jesus Christ, give us a good product. Give us top-notch quality products that surpass all of the other animes that are out right now. And surely enough, you do have, like I've mentioned before, other anime shows where it lacks perspective on story, it lacks depth in character buildup, it lacks depth in its animation and presentation. I don't think the perfect anime exists, even with Dragon Ball. I mean, come on, let's be objective here. I mean, it's not written as being the greatest form of fiction in history. It's not presented as being the greatest thing your eyeballs will ever see. You know what I mean? But even then, I do strongly believe and suggest and would only hope that Toei Animation puts all of their eggs into that basket to suggest that <laughs> let's just say if they want to come back with the anime and they want to kick things off strong and they want to have more people talking about it and buying into the products then i would only hope that they would put all of their eggs into that basket to put in as much money as possible to put in as much effort as possible to lock down some of the best and talented people in the world to give us the best because I feel as though we... Yeah, I mean, the Broly move is a good example of, like, them being able to do this. So, it's not like it's impossible for them. Um, they literally just said, okay, here's what it looks like when we're trying. Oh, and, oh, yeah, by the way, guys, uh, about superhero, yeah, we're still trying on superhero. Nothing has changed. And then they just lie to your face in a way, you know? I don't know, it's just, it's unfortunate deserve it we are the consumers that buy into the products and we are the consumers that invest into these products so there is no reason for us to settle for less and this is a fear of mine because we don't know what the future may hold how many movies they plan on doing how long and extensive the manga may go into as an example for them to go past the end of z and beyond and to even tell perspectives and stories after the fact we don't know how long Dragon Ball Super can go. As an example, when right. looking at the property of Super and what you can do, I strongly believe that they possibly have material that could go <laughs> decades facts. upon decades upon decades. Are you kidding me? You have the concept of 12 universes. You have all of this expansive world building. You can actually introduce different elements to Dragon Ball. You can go That's into true. different dimensions and you can introduce different layers for each character and whatnot. So when looking at the expansive story, there is so much more to do and they could ultimately give us and create some crazy shit. But the question is, do That's they true. have that creative liberty and kind of... It's 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 kind of like the thing about like... um. That's what made that's one of the things that made Z really good is that Z itself didn't give off the impression that there was so much more to be explored. Like the amount that we got was just right if that makes sense. Like there are certain I'm sure there's questions that people have about Z all the time. Like what if they did this or that? Like that's not the point that I'm trying to make here. As far as like the world building though, the you know, there's there's not too much that was really left out. 
in comparison to what they've done with Super. Um, if you look at Z by itself, sure, I'm sure you could come up with a million things. But if you compare it to Super, they've just done so much with Super that people just end up having more questions and they get very little answers instead. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's just, just unfortunate. Do I do I read the Boruto manga? No, I don't like Boruto. He he's annoying to me. You know, as long as people jump for joy at every bone throw them, Toya at every bone throw them, Toya will not put much effort into Super. They make millions on mediocrity, mediocrity, and I'm willing to be. I'm willing to bet when it returns, it will look the same. Probably. Amish, do you like Demon Slayer? Yes, I do. Very good anime. Very good anime. Anime is not a real world. That's true. That's that's true, Oda Star. That is true. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Jiren and Hit need to replace Goku and Vegeta. You bugging Ibrahim Anwar? <laughs> you tripping? Creative incentive to put out things. You should review One Piece. Oh no that are different and that are unique and fresh and new and something that'll drive the market that much more for people to buy into he's related to pine oh that makes sense we got a couple we got some arabs in the chat man <laughs> amish have you ever heard of the disaster that was fnaf security breach nope never really been into uh fnaf amish you've been watching boba fett nope go ten and trunks will age in the next dragon ball super manga they age in Kakume. Is Death Note your second favorite? No, I said it was my favorite. Death Note is my favorite. Hands down. Two, right? I think they have the potential. But what the hell is going on behind the scenes to where they're not delivering in those fields? You know what I mean? Because they could ultimately go on. I also recently got into Fire Force. I'm enjoying that too. It's just like a fun anime. Nothing really crazy, you know? But it's just fun. Like, I I'm enjoying it on and tell so many stories involving so many different characters from different parts of the universe from different sectors of the multiverse they could expand upon the angels and their race they could expand upon the destroyers and how the process works for one to become a god of destruction they omega shenron was such a well-designed villain you mean omega chinron <laughs> omega chinron is his continue name. Continue to build on Goku and his legacy, on Vegeta and his legacy, the secondary characters, Goten, Trunks, Pan, you know, Piccolo, Majin Buu, they could expand upon Maris and stuff like that, you know? So it's frustrating to kind of look back and ask yourself when looking at Super, okay, they've done many things that were cool and that were great and that were fun, but then... We have all of the cons of the product that sometimes outweigh the pros. So that's why I think that if Toei Animation were to gather together behind the scenes and all the executives and all the people in suits are sitting there and they're planning this out, I really do hope that if they do have an anime return planned anytime soon in the near future, in the far future, the only thing I would hope for is that these fucking people that are, again, working for a multi-billion dollar company have a plan. That's it. Have a plan. Have a strategy and execute it to the best of your ability. Don't be fearful of losing money. Don't be fearful of neglect because you're already neglecting and you're already going into this situation with several different projects that you have with this half-assed let's not go all out but save and preserve our money attitude right like dragon ball super superhero with its crappy ass video game cg i'm just not a fan of it it doesn't look appealing and everybody has the right of criticism to point that out because it's what we see with our eyes we have every right to observe and see and look at something and go you know what that's not really appealing and it may not conform to everybody else some people might say oh you're breed like so let's let's just like break this down like sit in simple as simple as I can possibly break it down, right? Um, Dragon Ball is like one of the few brands, as far as like anime and manga, that can also pump out as many games as, as it's had, and people still play and buy them. Like, you don't really see too many One Piece games, do you? Uh, you don't see the same with like other video games. They just do not perform on the same level that Dragon Ball games do. And the reason bec is because, it's not because the Dragon Ball games are just inherently better, you know, um, 
That's not the case at all. Uh, a lot of them are actually very similar. It's just because it's Dragon Ball. You know, so it's it's people buy it because it's Dragon Ball and they buy into it because it's Dragon Ball. They love it because it's Dragon Ball. And that's kind of like a double-edged sword, you know? I don't really have an issue with... Uh, I don't have an issue with people that just love Dragon Ball and buy everything Dragon Ball related or whatever. I don't have an issue with them. The only the only really the only time I really have an issue with people like that is when they is when they is when they start to kind of like dictate to other people that um they that other people should be the same and look at things the same way they do. I, I'm not I'm not too I'm not too crazy about that. So that's like my only issue with them. But outside of that you don't see uh you don't see other anime manga having the same issues that uh you know that these fucking uh what you calls have uh that that dramble no it's not that dramble has the same issue i'm just saying they don't perform on the same level or uh yeah on the same level at all as as dragon ball games do and that's just because people just buy it regardless so you watch hunter x hunter yes but i haven't finished it yet i need to finish you know um i need to finish it I need to really finish it. I'm in, I enjoyed it though. I like Killwa. Kill is my favorite character easily. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's like in the 35 minutes that we've gone over so far. Uh, I mean, I agree with him. I, I, I've been saying a lot of this stuff myself as well lately. And, um, you know, it, it, it seems like we've, uh, we agree on this and uh, we've gone over, you know, most of the important points for the sake of like, you know, for the sake of the topic of discussion and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to cut it off here because I actually have to go. Uh, so I, I I thought that I would have had more time to stream, but I actually don't right now. Um, so again, I'm going to leave a link to this in the chat. Go check it out. Subscribe to him. Uh, like a video. Leave a comment on it. You know, um, He's close to 100k on this channel, so let's see if we can get him there. And then uh, I, think, I think he's also close to hitting a million on his main channel. Um, but this stream will be archived on the channel for those of you guys who missed it as always you know uh play it back even if you're not going to watch it just play it back just to show the support it's always appreciated and uh stay safe stay healthy guys i'll catch you guys next time uh, have a good night guys and take care